Hey y'all, welcome back to another one. I quit fishing about a month ago for the year well, because the cold set in and hunting season was upon us. Today, well, it's 23 degrees and sunny, which means I brought him back out again. Now I'm not expecting to catch anything. Uh, I would assume all the bass have left the shallow water and they're heading for the deeper water because it's warmer. But they want to just sit on the couch, so I thought I'd go fishing. Oh, but if you think I didn't do any work today, uh, there's the boat. I got a winter ice today. So before anybody says, oh, you're going fishing, you ain't doing no work around the hose. I got the boat done. Oh, there we go. Hello, fella. He was hungry. And no commitment issues. Fall cold water bass. Does he have any friends over there? Now I'm not gonna lie, I had the rods put away because it's been cold. We've been duck hunting. Like I said, today warmed up. I thought I'd give it another shot. I'm just throwing the usual 3 8 ounce spinner bait with a willow leaf. And a tail just to make it a little bigger. There we go, there's another one. What do we got here? Another bass. Not too bad. But I assume the bass are going to be moving out of the shallows right soon for that warmer, deeper water. I'm going to downsize a little bit here and see if it makes a difference. I got a quarter ounce white jig with a twister tail on it. Pretty good action, just not as noisy. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Well, new spot, same creek. Let's see if they like this spot better. I always like to try along the near shoreline first. Just so I don't spook anything.
I don't uh, think I caught that on camera, but that's a largemouth jumping down there, and he's jumped three times. I think he's out of my reach, though. So this beautiful, warm, sunny October day came about today. And I thought, you know what? Leave the camo at home. Let's go see if we can catch fish. One thing I love as much as duck hunting, as you probably know, that's fishing. Oof, will you look at that? Oh boy. Come on, come on. Oh, not bad, not bad. That worked. Well, pro easy. Well, prior to coming down here to Jeanette's Creek, I tried some of the ditches and couldn't even get a bite. I'm thinking that water's just too shallow. They are gone. Uh, surprisingly, we got two here. We got another spot we're gonna check out, but uh, there's a place here, you guys have seen in my videos before, called Government Dock. And the muskie in the Thames River, because we're not far from the mouth of the Lake St. Clair, are thick. So are the people. Have a look. They come from all over Ohio, Michigan, all over Ontario because the muskie fishing here is fantastic. And yes, they even camp here. To our left right here in this driveway, that's a private hunting club there. That's where all the gunshots are coming from. These folks here, they're all muskie fishing. It's during the week. This is pretty light. You come down here on the weekend during musky season and it is packed. You have no place to put your boat in because there's no place to park your truck after you put your boat in. Alright, let's head to one more spot. Hopefully it's going to produce because I don't want to just show you two fish, but i got to admit, I am happy with those two fish. Let's get going. Well, not a long video today, not much of a video at that, but I went fishing expecting nothing and got two nice bass. They were young and I think they were confused. That's all there is to it, they were just confused and hungry. But they did not have commitment issues. Anyway, that's going to be it for our fishing 2023 season. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And remember... Get off the couch and get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later.